Another chapter in history where Octogon, Switzerland, had their fingers in it was the apartheid in South Africa, where this not very neutral alpine country helped developing six atomic bombs with South Africa that actually were produced. And there they are, a South African six pack that will make you more than just a little drunk with the help of Switzerland. And of course Octogon was after the gold, Nazi gold, South African gold and diamonds. And the Swiss imported 500 kilos of Mandrax, which is now the biggest drug plague in South Africa. Swiss General Major Peter Reglis Chemical Warfare Program developing with the South African Dr. Death or Wouter Bassel who together with the Swiss from Octogon murdered many people in South Africa with all sorts of chemicals and throwing people alive out of airplanes over the ocean. Now where did we hear this again? Oh yes, Argentina at the same time and where Octogon gave 10,000 Red Cross passes to dangerous Nazi war criminals so they could escape to Argentina. Must have been a Swiss idea it seems, throwing people out of airplanes alive. So, we can read the whole thing here. It's about a Swiss commission, you know, investigating the thing. That's what they always do. The after it's happened, they, may, they put up a commission. An honesty commission. <laughs> we all know the answer, don't we? The Swiss and Dr. Death were even developing the black bomb that would only kill African people, probably attacking African DNA only. They called it Project Coast, as in throwing living people out of airplanes just over the coastline. Maybe read the whole story. Just punch pause. Octagon General Regli worked together with the boss or Bureau of State Security, even murdering people in Europe. Reminding us of another Swiss general called Ulrich Wille, who financed Mr. Hitler in Zurich. And here's Mr. Zurich and in, in, uh, Mr. And here's Mr. Hitler in Zurich, where he got financed by the Swiss. And all these Swiss sort of so-called commissions for the truth, they all end up like that Switzerland is so neutral and so innocent and they never done anything. Eh? And this is the same Zurich where many years later the South African diamonds went to in collaboration with the Swiss Octogon. Octogon Switzerland together with the Basel chemical plants Siba, now Novartis, Roche and again Brown Boveri company had real plans and executing them to wipe out the entire black population on the southern part of the African continent. I tell you, everywhere Octagon Switzerland has their dirty little fingers in it when concerning huge crimes against humanity. In South Africa, with Hitler and financing the Nazis, Argentina and the Red Cross passports, the Crusades, Swiss mercenaries torturing French citizens at La Bastille leading to the French Revolution, the European witch hunt and the Swiss book The Maleus Maleficarum, the uh, Witch's Hammer, Lenin in Zurich, Hitler and Rudolf Hess in Zurich, South African blood diamonds in Zurich, Swiss mercenaries killing 20 million Germans during the Thirty Year War, the Pope's Guard, Arab dictators and Swiss banks, etc, etc. And now the torturing and murdering of immigrants and spreading hatred and racism throughout Europe by the very influential Swiss People's Party and the list goes on. There, you can read it yourself. There's Dr. Death again, the friend of Switzerland.
one of the eight pages. I'm not sure if I'm showing, if I show them all to you. Well, these are the things the Swiss like. Make business at the same time. Just as Alex Jones, actually. Business, business, just as Hitler. Well, you can look up the rest yourselves. Well, it says where he travelled to Basel. There it says to Switzerland. Well, it says here. In some countries he had success. He didn't have any success in some countries, and in some countries he did, as in Switzerland apparently. Oh yeah. And they have a tactics ready every time by pretending an independent Swiss investigation to manipulate the world and show that not all Swiss are bad and the other half are very alert keeping an eye on when it's too late and over. They had a Nazi commission, a South Africa commission, an Argentina commission, a Red Cross commission, etc. etc. Just diverting and throwing sand in our eyes. Well, the entire Swiss population, in fact, agrees with Swiss, Swiss crimes, really. There's no innocent other half. There just isn't. Well, I'll show you the whole thing. It's, it's the same. Here they call it the South Africa Research Group. Oh, what a lovely name, isn't it? It's like, uh, it's like asking George Bush to investigate 9-11. And actually, Octagon is behind 9-11. They did it. It's all a bunch of Swiss lies. They've got their fingers in everything, I tell you. Well, this is the kind of propaganda the Swiss People's Party are sending by mail. Look, there's the bear, you know, like in the Revelations. It's all propaganda and hatred against foreigners. And foreigners are, are only being portrayed as criminals, as all sorts of animals, like here, you know. So, this is what they're doing. So, for the Swiss, uh, Swiss politics needs criminals. So they have to make criminals. Well, I know how they do it. They just lie something together. Because the Swiss Nazi politics, they need criminals so they can, so they can terrorize them and, and, you know, to do things in the, in the parliament, in the government, to attack innocent people, as they're doing with me. The police, the justice department, they're just lying things together. They're a bunch of crooks. And uh, as we can see here, they are insinuating that all, all foreigners and all immigrants are criminals. Where, in fact, the real criminals are the Swiss. Look. This is us, the immigrants, or, you know. And they're using the parliament in a very sly way. Just as uh, the Swiss told Mr. Hitler to be patient and to use the democracy to get into power and they helped him to do it. This is the way they do it and they still do it today. So they're going to vote again on in a, in a few weeks, November the 24th. Well, just two days before they want to put me in prison on the 26th. Well, nice, hey? Nice people. It all fits together. And I can tell you now that all Swiss can see what's happening. They're showing these things in the media, on, on TV, uh, in the streets, you know, um, portraying immigrants as criminals. Because Swiss politics needs criminals. And um, so all Swiss can see it. And if there will be a, um, a truth uh, investigation afterwards, none of these so-called good Swiss of uh, can say well we didn't know this what was going on you know it came out of the blue yeah. 
There are no good Swiss. Very, very few. Maybe zero, zero something percent. All the good people that have been murdered here in all those ages before. By the Pope's guard, by the Swiss mercenaries, by the, uh, by the witch hunt, etc, etc. By the Nazis. So here, this is really where Octagon, where the Templars have a, uh, an entire farmed race. And no country in the world will ever do something against the motherland of all evil. Because the Nazi Templars of Octagon, Switzerland, created a world wide web of Freemasons on all key positions, in all governments, in all countries. Out of the Swiss Templars obeying and executing orders from their Octagon base and motherland of the Templars and pri Priory of Sion in Switzerland. Okay, true, the big Bantu tribes as the Zulus ruling South Africa now came hundred years after the whites and the only true South Africans are the Bushmen and Hottentot, still today's losers. Working together with the Swiss, the Octagon Templars, they're the ones behind it. But the whole situation in South Africa has been created by Switzerland from the beginning, when white Huguenot, Protestants, Calvinists and other religious minorities had to flee Europe from Swiss persecution during the Thirty Year War from 1618 until 1648, when Swiss mercenaries ransacked Europe, paid by the Catholic Church with Inca and Maya gold from South America, and Octagon murdered 20 million Germans and their children. So this is something the whole population in South Africa should know, that the, the white settlers are refugees themselves and victims themselves, that the origins of the, uh, the dilemma in South Africa they, and the apartheid, they lie in Europe and in Switzerland. It's Octagon of the Templars who are behind it all and creating the whole situation. We cannot understand the actual situation by not looking at history. So this is what I want to tell you. The Swiss are behind everything. The Templars of Octagon. Then the Dutch sank the Spanish and Portuguese armadas with the Templars flag in their sails with gold paying the Swiss mercenaries and this meant the end of the Thirty Year War in 1648. And so South Africa could be founded only four years later by Jan van Riebeek in 1652 as a direct result of the end of the Thirty Year War and the Dutch being the masters of all seas after defeating the Spanish and Portuguese Templars Armadas. So this Templar's logo and the thing we find on the uh, uh, on, on the Nazi warplanes and but then in black like you know was they were all sank by these here. here you can see the Dutch flag and they saved actually Germany for total and the Germans for a total wipeout but well then again in 1940 the Germans were not very thankful to the Dutch so this is the reason only four years later that South Africa could be founded and it is all related to the Templars of Octagon Switzerland who ransacked and terrorized the whole of Europe and because of which uh, many Europeans had to flee to another part which was empty at that time South Africa there were only some uh, Bushmen and uh, Hottentot there were no Zulus there were no Bantus so here again we can see some Templar ships with the uh, the Swiss cross or here this is the Red Cross but it's the same thing actually from the same country this is also the Armada and they had very big ships and the and the Dutch they had very small ships that were used to the rough North Sea and they could shoot under the uh, under the waterline because these ships were really very big and they could be maneuvered 
quite more easily. So here again you can see the uh, Dutch or you can also say the South African ships really with the South African or Dutch flag here sinking the Armadas and all South Africans especially the black population can ask themselves and put themselves and ask the, the, the honest question what would have happened in South Africa if the Spanish and the conquistadores and the Portuguese would have won this war and not the Dutch then the Zulus they would be would have been massacred just like the Indians in South America and the black population would have ended in a total civil war like in Angola so you have to take into consideration all these things really so at that time the Dutch and the South African fleet was the uh, was the biggest in the world um, for about 100 years it lasted even stronger than the British fleet and uh, they were fighting the baddies actually the ones who massacred all the people in South America the ones who financed with their Templars logo of Octagon the, um, the Indians in South America and um, so we might say the good ones really won but um, they got punished later on when Hitler got financed by Octagon Switzerland so here we can see some more action where the Dutch South African fleet they destroyed the baddies and they destroyed Octagon for a while but they had to pay for it dearly and this is also actually the reason why, uh, why, and the founding of gold, of course, that the Boers they had to suffer during the Boer War. It's also a revenge because Switzerland never forgets anything. So, I'd say the Boers and the black population they got a lot of things in common and should unite against the Swiss, against Octagon, and what they did. We shouldn't forget. So here we can see the uh, the founding and the uh, the landing in uh, in Cape Town, in South Africa, as a direct result of the end of the of the Thirty Year War and the, the Swiss Terror of Octagon. So four years later, it was in 1652, by Jan van Riebeek. So these are my ancestors, who actually had to flee and fight the Swiss Terror. And here again in South Africa, Jan van Riebeek. Um, so if the baddies and Octagon, the ones who murdered all the people in South America, would have won, this would have gone a slightly less peaceful, I suppose. And because of this, the, uh, the, the Dutch sinking the Armada and stopping, stopping the Thirty Year War, and fighting Octagon because of all this and because the Swiss Templars never forget a thing in 1940 Rotterdam in Holland where the Dutch ships left from defeating the Templars Armada had to be bombed in revenge murdering thousands of civilians in one night and through terror the whole country and the army had to surrender Remember how the Swiss financed Hitler and gave him all the orders, as Hitler was their Octagon agent. Everything hangs together folks, and Octagon Switzerland always got their dirty little fingers in it. Even wrecking the US economy through tax evasion and Swiss banks, where the organized Swiss criminals threw parties for US billionaires with classical music and a banquet dinner only to, do, to discuss tax evasion afterwards and during the dinner party for the wealthy this is how sly organized and calculated these Swiss and their octagon really are it's octagon ruling over a pentagon it's the Swiss biz the bank of international settlements that owns the US economy and the Federal Reserve. 
This picture here shows the whole deal what's going on. Don't have the US sucked out by these Swiss Templars and their banks.